Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm going to be talking about the last couple of days business in the transfer window and also saying goodbye to a couple of icons at the club in New Dicko and Dave Edwards, both of whom have been have stuck with us through really difficult times over the last few years, both of whom went down to League One with us when they probably could have gone elsewhere to further their careers. Now there's no denying that New Dicko was a fantastic striker at ch championship level a couple of years ago. Him, Afobi and Sacco, that trio that worked between January 2015 and May 2015 was the best strike force we've had for quite a long time and one that we've struggled to replace. Since his injury in August 2015 he's never been the same player. He's lost that little bit of confidence and that yard of pace that and power that enabled him to get past defenders and and score the, all those goals that he did. You could argue that selling him to a rival is a negative thing for us, but then you could also look at it and see that we've managed to get 3.5 million reportedly for a player who scored three goals in the last 30 games or something like that. He's not the player that he was. He's going to struggle in a whole team that we've seen play one up front. Unless he gets a lot of service, he's not very effective. And we've seen that over the last two years. Now, as for Dave Edwards, you'll all know that I love Dave Edwards. I love his effort. I love his commitment to the club and the work that he does off the pitch. But now, as a club moving forward and a club that wants to be challenging in the Premier League, in the top half of the Premier League, in the next two or three years, he's not part of that. And we, unfortunately, now Nuno and Foson have to be cutthroat. And he wasn't going to be part of the squad. It was clear to see that from the opening seven games or so. For his own development as well going forward at this stage in his career, he wants to carry on playing for Wales as long as he can. And he's not going to get that because he won't be playing for us. Going into a Reading team who haven't had the best start of the season, but are expected to be challenging near the top of the league. Could be good. I think we've done well to get a million pounds for him. I know, I know about six or seven months ago I said that Dave Edwards could be worth ten million pounds and that he was the Frank Lampard of the championship. But realistically, he's not that good a footballer. But I really admire him. He's somebody that I've looked up to almost as a a role model for footballers. He's also given us some amazing moments in his time here at Wolves. His goal against Manchester City back in two thousand and ten to win the game, his goal against Leeds, that flick on header to make it 4-3 back in 2015 which made us all have a little bit of belief going into that run in. He was part of the promotion team in 2009 and the League One season in 2013-14. He had a record as well that lasted for quite a number of years where he used to, when he used to score, Wolves used to win, that wore off in that relegation season as well. But yeah, if by any chance Dave or Nua are watching this video then thank you for on behalf of all Wolves fans who have watched you and supported you through good times and bad and you have stuck with us as well through those times as well so thank you very much and all the best in your future careers. Now as for players coming in there have been rumours about a number of strikers coming in a couple of Portuguese imports as well but looking closer to home the rumours have been about Jordan Hughill who if you remember back in May, I believe, where Paul Lambert was still there, was linked with coming to the club from Preston. Now, he scored 13 goals last season. Is he the sort of player we need going forward? I don't know. There's also been Jordan Rhodes, who's been linked heavily for the last couple of weeks. Apparently, Sheffield Wednesday are willing to accept a loan deal now, which they weren't before. And also Dwight Gale, which is the most interesting one. And there were rumours last night, but it came from a fake Twitter account, that a de an offer had been accepted for 11.5 million and that Dwight Gale was coming to Wolves and was going to be announced today. Dwight Gale has got a proven track record in the Championship, scoring 27 goals last season for Newcastle in their promotion and it hasn't been part of their squad on the opening three games of this season but he will surely want to stay and to fight for his place in that Newcastle team that is going to be chopping and changing over the next couple of weeks. But equally, Mike Ashley, eager to cash in. He's said that he's not willing to spend any more money until they've got money in. So perhaps Dwight Gale could be used as a sort of make weight in that respect. Jordan Rhodes, a couple of years ago I'd have taken him. He'd have been a great sign-in a few years ago. But going forward now... He didn't really shine at Middlesbrough, didn't shine at Sheffield Wednesday either. He might be good for 10, 15 goals. Is he the sort of player that Nuno wants? I don't really know. But it's going to be interesting to see. I expect there to be a couple of announcements tomorrow. 
I do think that we're going to make a signing tomorrow and then probably one on transfer deadline day as well, which is on Thursday. So let me know what you think down in the comments section. Who do you think we're going to sign? Have you heard any rumours as well? What do you think about Nua Dicko and Dave Edwards? We're looking pretty short now in the striker department, so we're definitely going to see some incomings. Otherwise, we wouldn't have seen Dicko leave. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you later on this week for a transfer roundup, which has been a very, very busy transfer window for us. Probably the busiest one we've ever had. And it's not over yet. So, 